Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek you first the kingdom of Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Raka Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. Now, this lesson is going into the mindset of King Solomon. All right. The mindset of King Solomon. Okay. And we can learn a lot. Okay. From the scriptures when it speaks about King Solomon and his mind state. Okay. Let's read it again. Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek you first the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Shai in his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So this is the order of how we should think, of how we should move. Okay. Now the question is, what is seeking the kingdom first? What is that? Okay, let's go into Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 10. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? All right. So Solomon, he asked for wisdom first. Okay. That is seeking the kingdom, asking for wisdom first, attending to wisdom first. Okay. And when I go through this lesson, you will see, man, that wisdom is before everything. So, I mean, if you're not seeking that first, then you're going backwards, man. You're trying to go a different way. Okay. We have to deal with Yahweh Bashem Shai this way. Wisdom first. The fear of the Lord first. Okay. I'm going to keep saying that in these lessons, man. All right. Verse 11. And Yahweh said to Solomon, because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thine enemies, neither yet has asked long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself. Okay. Now we see, as I'm reading, that Yahweh Bashim Shai loves for us to think this way. That's how you get to his heart, man. That's how you get to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay, with this mindset. Okay, because this is a spiritual mindset, because you're talking about wisdom that comes from the throne. So for you to focus on that, you're focusing on Yahweh Bashim Shai and not the world first. You get it? The things that come with the world. Okay. This is strictly spiritual first. Okay. That is the mindset of King Solomon here. It says, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee. Neither shall there any after thee have thee like. Right, man. So he was very spiritual, man. Okay. And Yahweh acknowledged it. So as we read. Okay. So because he asked for wisdom first, Yahweh gave him everything else right after. Seeking the kingdom and everything is going to be added. So right here we see that. This is a perfect example, man, of seeking the kingdom first. Seeking wisdom first. Okay. And allowing everything to be added after that. And if you put your heart, you put your soul more into wisdom, man, Yahweh is going to take care of you, man. He is going to drop everything, man, in his place in your life. That is a fact. Okay, we are reading that here. So there's no argument there. Okay, so when you ask yourself, what do you need to do? I'm reading it. This is what we all need to do. OK, but again, it starts with the fear of the Lord, checking your fear. OK, to be in this mindset. OK, period. Let's go to wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven. Start at verse seven. Wherefore, I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon Yahweh and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Right, man. And wisdom came from the throne. OK. Stop thinking of wisdom just a word, and that's it, man. No, wisdom is pure power, okay? Spiritual power coming from the throne of Yahweh. Verse 8, I preferred her 
with four scepters and thrones, and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as little sand, and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty, and chose to have her instead of light. Okay, so Solomon, this is all he thought about was wisdom. Okay, all he thought about was being connected Okay, closely with Yahweh. Okay, checked his mindset. Okay, he wasn't worried about everything else on the earth. That was going to come, right? In this order. Okay, whatever it is, it was going to come within the order of him seeking the wisdom, seeking the kingdom first, and allowing everything to be added after. So it says, and chose to have her instead of light, for the light that come from her never go out. All good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. You hear that? And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. Right. You have to deal with wisdom first. Okay. Period, man. Okay. It goes before everything. And I knew not that she was the mother of them all, but he learned that. So when we read it, we have to learn it and understand. Like, wait a minute. Wisdom is the most important thing here. It goes before them all. It goes before everything, man. So why am I seeking this and seeking that over wisdom? Think about that. Okay. You got to get in order. With your how about your mouth shot, man? And this grace period is for us to get in order. Verse 13. I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches, for she is a treasure unto man that never faileth. You hear that? She is a treasure. Okay. Key word treasure. Keep that in your mind. For she is a treasure unto man that never faileth, which they that use becomes the friends of Yahweh being commended for the gifts that come from learning. You become close, okay, when you use wisdom, man, and stay on wisdom. You become close to Yahweh Bashem Shai. So if you're sitting there wondering, how do I become close to Yahweh, to Yahweh Bashem Shai? How do I become close? I'm reading it, okay? King Solomon broke it down, all right? Now, I highlighted treasure in this scripture. Let's go here. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Uh-oh. Look at that treasure. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay. What did Solomon just say? In wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, back at verse 14. For she is a treasure unto man that never faileth. Okay. But what is the root of all that treasure? Fear. The fear of the Lord. Okay. The fear of the Lord is our treasure. It's our everything. We focus on that. Okay. We become more powerful and more powerful and more strong and more closer. The closer you get to your how about your shy, the stronger spiritually you will be. No matter what's going on on this earth, man, this earth is done. Okay, this world is done, man. Okay. But we have to get stronger. Our light has to get brighter. Okay, and this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Let's end it on this. First Kings chapter 4, verse 29. It says, And Yahweh gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, exceeding much, and largeness of heart. Okay. Man, he gave him so much wisdom, man, that his mind was so large of what he understood and what he could process, man. Okay, think about a computer, man. You put more memory in a computer, okay? It gives it more strength to be able to process whatever you're doing. Okay, a bigger hard drive, bigger space, bigger this, right? To be able to process more. Well, that computer can do more than other computers that doesn't have that. Okay? So look at it that way, man. You focus on wisdom more. You focus on the fear of the Lord more. And you zone in on it, man. And you grab hold tight of it. All right? Your mind is going to enlarge. Okay? 
to be able to process a lot of spiritual things, man, and apply it in your life, in your walk. You become spiritually stronger, okay? And it says, in largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. So I'm going to end there. Lord willing, you got the point through the spirit, man. Hey, this is the mindset, man. The mindset of King Solomon. Okay. Seek the kingdom first. Seek wisdom. Seek to fear the Lord first. Okay. You will be clear minded, man. Then everything will be added. Okay. Thus says Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim. Rakha Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, Akimak, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.